Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and I am here with a review of Dr. Fetus's Mean Meat Machine on Xbox. Now this was released on the 22nd of June 2023, developed by Head Up and published by Thunderful. And I was lucky enough to be sent a copy for this video review, so big thank you to them for that. Now, this is a POPU like drop puzzle style game spin off to the Super Meat Boy franchise. Now, if you don't know what Super Meat Boy is, it was a like hellish difficulty 2D platforming game that was all the rage around this sort of Xbox Live 360, Xbox Arcade era, where you basically played this little lump of meat and you had to get to the end of each level, and it was just nightmare difficulty you had to be like absolutely precise when you got further into the game and it caused many a person to like throw their controllers through their screens and i don't think that many people got to the end of it so this is a spin-off uh, of that franchise for super meat boy and in this one um it's obviously a puzzle game so basically you are uh it takes place right after the events of Super Meat Boy Forever. So, um, after he's analysed Meat Boy all through that game, uh, the bad guy, Dr. Fetus, he now has all the data he needs to create a Meat Boy clone that's perfect. So, unfortunately, the DNA sample isn't perfect. So, there's some less than perfect clones. So basically, you're going through all these test chambers to fill the levels, and it's basically to weed out all of the weak clones to basically create the perfect clone. And that's it in a nutshell. That's the, the plot. That's It's very loosey-goosey to tie it into the games. But for all intents and purposes, it's Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, even sort of similarly named, but taken up to 11 with loads more sort of things to worry about and difficulty. So, the game will take place across six different test chamber areas, each of them from the Super Meat Boy game, so you'll see sort of locations you're used to if you've played the original game. And there's 20 levels in each of these with a boss fight in each test lab as well. So, there's 120 stages you've got to work through to get to the end of the game. Now, the way the gameplay works, for those that don't know, is you basically drop in a couple of things down, coloured blobs, and you have to match four of them together to make a connection, to clear them, basically. Now, when you make four of them together, and you can rotate them, you can slow them down, you can speed them up and stuff like that, you can also combo them. Some of the levels require you to sort of combo them in a certain amount of time to sort of blow fuses, which then progress the stage as such and it just adds a little bit more to the game so you can't really take it steady you've always got to be sort of on the go now if you've ever played a game like P.O.P.O. Pio or Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine you'll know exactly how this plays however this one is absolutely rock solid not only are you trying to create your like four blob combos but there's tons of like saws and stuff constantly trying to kill you um time limits that are like crazy and basically this is the meat boy po po version where you've got to be like absolutely perfect in order to progress and it's one of those games that most people probably won't get near the end of because it's so frustratingly difficult now i have since found out there is an accessibility mode to this you can turn it on where you don't take any damage and that will help you get to the end of the game but it kind of also defeats the point of the game if you're going to give us a mode like that you may as well remove all of the hazards or just make an easy mode or something like that but that's just my personal opinion now graphically the game looks fantastic it has like gorgeous cutscenes it's bright it's colorful with very like high quality sprites and environments looks the absolute bee's knees it's got a, a great soundtrack as well from the the people that did um super meat boy forever i think they're called ridiculon and uh, there's an original sound back by soundtrack by them as well as remixes from previous super meat boy forever tracks as well now one thing i must say the the fact that this is single player only it does limit the amount of content 
available. It's very much a sort of one and done game. You once you've played through it, you've finished it. You can't progress to the next level without finishing the one before it because it doesn't allow for um, level skips or anything like that, and everything is locked down. So unless you get good or you play like with the cheats on so you take no damage you're not going to progress at all at points and this sort of gameplay really lends itself to multiplayer like mean bean machine pio pio are at their best when you're versing someone else and when you're doing your combos there's bad things dropping on their screen to mess them up and stuff like that the fact that this sort of doesn't have that it feels like it's missing like a limb and it just feels like a a quick throwaway game unfortunately because of it now the game itself is fun it looks great it plays great unfortunately it's absolutely rock hard like i say it like mind frustratingly difficult at times really 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 annoyingly difficult so if, the, if you didn't like super meat boy you're probably not going to like this in the same difficulty at least it does have the accessibility option however like I say, it kind of takes the whole point of the game away, I suppose, unless you're going just for the achievements. But, you, like, not only are you trying to match them up, but then there's things spinning around that are killing you constantly and stuff. Oh, man, it gets super, super hectic further into the game. Like, I had to get Mrs. to help me because I was absolutely sucking at it. And, like, when there's rockets coming and, um, like, chainsaws and stuff... And then the boss stages are also exceedingly difficult as well. It makes you get good fast or you're just not going to get anywhere. But the game is playable on Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S consoles. Optimised for Series X and S with 4K resolution and 60 FPS. Supports smart delivery as well and it's priced at £7.99. It's also available on other platforms as well as Steam. So check it out if you're interested. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and we'll see you soon for more content. Bye for now.